Hello again, Card Fight Vanguard fans. I am Jeff of the Game Capital, and today I will be opening up a booster box of Card Fight Vanguard Unite Team Q4. This is the first main set um, that came out of the V era, which is the start of what is currently the standard format for Card Fight Vanguard. Uh, we've got some extra of these for the store right now, and I want to get some opened for additional single stock. So that's definitely not the newest or most current one, but it's something I want to get more of open, so why not? Uh, if you guys want, I can open up some uh, Miyagi Club soon on the channel as well, and uh, next week, once we get them in, I'll be opening up some Vilas Deleter boxes as well. Uh, you guys may have seen the sneak preview um, box we opened up previously on the channel uh, earlier in the week, or within the last week. So, for Q4, you get four box tower packs. Uh, these are just Q4 special packs. Uh, I have a ton of these. I'll just go ahead and open them quick so you guys can see what they are if you're not familiar. If I have more boxes of this set on the channel, I probably won't open these again. Um, but you always get the pair. So you get a imaginary gift and a promo card from the same clan. So both of those are for Royals. And surprise, surprise, it's the four clans featured in this set. And then we've got Nova's Extra Muscular with Kamui the Great. Oops. And then we've got Misaki with Amiyoji of the Moonlit Night. I believe this is the most desired one you can get um, amongst the four packs. So if seeking singles, that's the one that will set you back the most. Not that any of them are going to be very, very expensive in any means, but yeah. And there's Kai and Grape Shot Wyvern. And I'm not going to open this. This just has one of each of the basic uh, Madre Gift markers. They got 16 booster packs. We should get one Vanguard rare, um, three triple rares, six double rares. And then you always have the chance at either an SVR or a signed stamp card or an OR or the IMR. I think that covers everything. We'll show you card the first few packs, then we'll kind of blast through this here. So we got Giro Hercule. Oh, excuse me, Herculean Knight, Elebrox, Rocket Hammer Man, Maximum Razor, Shining Lady, Miss Splendor, and the very first pack, we get our Vanguard Rare, Imperial Daughter. Basically for this set, for the Vanguard Rare, if you don't get Perfect Razor, you did okay. You did okay. It's either Imperial Daughter, Key of Knights, Alfred, or Dragonic Waterfall at that point. All of which are not bad ones to get in the least. So, nothing to complain about there with Imperial Daughter. Hopefully, we got that in the very first pack. Uh, hopefully, that means we can find something else that's, you know, an SVR or an OR or a stamped card. Because that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Knight of Devotion, Bergius, something. Goss of Tide of Times, Mizuno Hame. 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 Probably Hame. Hate Reflector. Funogal. And oh my god, the first two packs, Imperial Daughter SVR. That is silly. And that's why in our store, typically open a new box, we shuffle the packs, we put them in our pack shoot thing. But that's just crazy. First two packs of the box, VR and SVR, both Imperial Daughter. And I'm pretty sure right now, other than the signed cards, namely of Misaki, I think this is the most expensive card in the set right now. I think. I think. Uh, but VR-wise, I don't think it's the most expensive VR. But it is the highest price SVR, I think, last I checked. That's kind of silly. That makes this box opening really melodramatic because, well, now let's go fast because now, we, now we're going to see what triple rares and double rares we get pretty much. Um, so I'll fan through the next few packs of the commons. I'm not going to name them all. But, yeah. And we've got a Cruel Dragon double rare. I'm only going to sleeve the double rares that uh, are P guards, I think, at this time. Because I'll probably be uh, putting most of these in perfect fits and getting them all situated. Once I get them all fully sorted for the store and for online. Speaking of which, yeah, any singles you see opened in this video, or any of our videos for that matter, will either end up available for purchase in our storefront in De Pere, Wisconsin, and or on our website, thegamecapital.com. Um, as I mentioned in our sneak peek box opening, whoops, another hate reflector, and we got a Razor Custom Double Rare. <clears throat> uh, over the next couple weeks or so, I'm going to be getting all of our carpets up organized, 
getting our display case and store reorganized, and then getting any like extra stuff I have. Ooh, cat butler. That's like a meme with me. Just just FYI. Just FYI. Uh, but yeah, we should be getting a decent amount of singles stocked to our website for card fight over the next couple of weeks. So if you're looking for any card fight stuff, especially standard stuff, keep an eye out on our site. And there should be some stuff hitting there in the short term pretty darn soon. Very nice. Weather forecaster mist mist. This card has spiked hard over the last couple months or so. This was like a $2 card, and now it's more like 8 to 10 range, I believe. So that has become a very valuable double rare. Very, very valuable double rare. No triple rares yet. Not that I'm complaining. Just just commenting. Just stating what, what, what the facts are. Oh, here comes one. Here comes one. Well, that's, I think, the worst one of the set. Silent Tom. That or Azura Kaiser. Those are two triple rares you don't want to hit, but probably need to sleep that one right now, but oh well. Silent Tom, still not a bad card in my opinion, but it's not played in a lot of OTT lists, or at least not heavily played, like, quantity-wise, so keeps its value and demand down and in check. <clears throat> Double, well, two single rare pack there. Basically a dud. Basically a dud. That's a pretty, uh, pretty nice box. Two packs deep. We knew it was a nice box. We knew. We knew. Conjurer of Mithril. Double rare. <clears throat> and uh, also, if you are in the area, De Pure, Wisconsin, we're basically a part of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, we have weekly Card Fight Vanguard standard events on Sundays, which I believe the day this is being posted is Sunday. Sundays at 2 p.m. Sundays at 2 p.m. And we get the other dud, Triple Rare Azura Kaiser. I mean... If you get SVR in the box, I mean, it's only fair, really, right? It's only fair. If you get the two, if you get the best SVR, or just SVR in general, especially if it's not for a Razor, you kind of deserve to get one, if not both, of the two undesirable trip rares. I'm okay with it. I understand. Helps balance it. I can support that. I can support that. Let's see. Bellicosity Dragon. Remember that that was out back in the day. And Boomerang Thrower. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, still getting over the final stages of my cold. Uh, we're almost there. We're almost there. Rocket Hammer Man. Resolute Maiden Chitose. Cup Bowler. Radical Knight Anil. Red Lightning. Pongo. And Dragonic Geist Double Rare. But yeah, uh, Cap Bowler is mean with me because... Uh, back in the original days, when Cat Butler was, I think, in EBL 1, I often played the Cat Butler deck using that with Brutal Jack. And it was always fun the first time I'd use that deck against somebody who didn't know what that deck was about or that I had the deck because I'd always think I was grade stuck, grade screwed, whatever you want to call it. Because the deck does not run grade threes. And it's, it's very fun. And Brutal Jack... Um, sorry, with the original Cat Butler, if your Vanguard is grade two or lower and does not hit... You can retire the capital from your rear guard circle and then restand your vanguard. So if your opponent's at like four damage, they're kind of an interesting position because if they if they don't block, you get critical, you win. If they do block, your capital is in play, you might swing two, three, four times, and that's gonna be hard for them to block, especially an absolute chance of criticals. So just a very fun deck that I always love playing. I still have put together as well, I'm pretty sure. If you guys want to see that. <laughs> There's another cat butler right on cue, right on cue. If you guys want to do like a deck profile on that, it's probably not the like most updated version of it, because I I basically did nothing in the G era for Vanguard. So if anything, the G era helped the original cat butler. It's not in that deck, but um, I think the original cup butler that we saw earlier for this set, the original ones in the set or in the deck, Brutal Jack. There's I think it's a 16 critical deck. I'm pretty sure. So yeah. If you guys want to see a deck profile on that, if you're curious, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below, and I will see what I can do for you. I will see what I can do for you to appease you. I'm pretty sure I know what the deck is. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Solid Turtle! <laughs> Cannonball! First Razor! Victorious Deer! Alright, so... So far, other than the VR and SVR, the only card really noteworthy is the Weather Forecaster Miss Mist. 
This final pack, though, should have our third triple rare. I don't think the SVR has replaced triple rares anyway. So this last pack should be pretty decent since we already got the two dud triple rares. We've got, so last pack, last chance for glory. We've got Battle Razor, Shooting Hobby, Fright Lock, Miracle Kid, Sphere Magus. It is a triple rare. Oh, spoilers. Lizard Soldier Reopia and Berserk Dragon. I think that's actually the most valuable triple rare right now. That's been bouncing around, I think, like the $8 to $10 range. So definitely a nice triple rare to get. So basically what mattered from that box is that right there. The Miss Mist, the Berserk Dragon, and the two Imperial Daughters. Hope you guys enjoyed this nice, short, and sweet booster box opening. If you did, you aren't already, please subscribe. Definitely rock smash that like button. Visit the game, capital.com, for your card fight vanguard and other TCG needs. And if you want to see even more content from me, make sure you're following on twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. And I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.